I'm out of stuff to say. So I'm gonna bring up my friend here. This guy comes all the way from France. He drove here just for today. Give it up for my friend, Jose Leo Cita. Wow, okay. Um, you know, the truth about the Loteria with the beans and that, you guys play, play checkers with bottle caps. I don't even remember that. But, you know, but it's, it's Christmas season. You know, it is the season to get in debt. <laughs> you know, uh, it's crazy how every year uh, people start putting up their Christmas lights earlier and earlier, right? I mean, to that. In fact, we put up our Christmas lights on uh, November 1st, 2002. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, my parents actually left some lights on. My dad put up some lights one year and they took them down for like, for like five years. They're like, no, those aren't Christmas lights, those are Fourth of July lights. They're Labor Day lights. <laughs> yeah, so it's time to get in debt. You know, back to all your credit cards, um, gifts for ungrateful family members and kids who behaved well all last week. You know, um, people say that men peak sexually at the age of 18. I don't believe that's true, because I masturbate as much now as I did when I was 12. <laughs> I was coming down uh, 111 one time, I was behind an SUV. The SUV had uh, the TV screens on the back of the headrest. And you don't believe this, they're watching porn. They're watching porn on the highway. It's disgusting. I followed them for about 45 minutes before they finally turned it off. They said, get the fuck off our driveway, dude. <laughs> Yo, I have two beautiful kids, but me and the mom were, you know, were divorced. But um, we have talked about trying to, you know, get back together, you know, for the sake of this joke. And um, <laughs> we talked about, we realized that what it takes to make a relationship work is compromise. You know, give a little, take a little. So I agreed I stopped going out with my friends as much as I used to. And she agreed she stopped going out with my friends as much as she used to. <laughs> nah, you know, I, 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 we've been talking. We've been divorced for a long time. I actually have a girlfriend, a beautiful girlfriend right here, Michelle. Um, I thought, yo, know, I could outsmart her, but she's too smart for me. And I, I thought, you know what? If I cheat on her with only other women named Michelle, I'll never accidentally call her another name. So one time, you know, we're making love, she stopped me and slapped me, and I said, what the hell did I do? She said, you said Michelle was one L. <laughs> you know, one time uh, we were at a restaurant and she slapped me across the shoulder with a, with a menu and I go, what the hell? And she said, you had a spider on you, I saved your life. Or you kept me from being Spider-Man, I will never know. <laughs> you know, I'm not good at reading signs from women. You know, I, I don't know when a woman is like interested in me. One time I had this girl sucking my dick, and I looked down and I'm thinking, you know, I think this girl really likes me. <laughs> well, maybe she's just very friendly. I don't know. I just got here. Hater. <laughs> <laughs> really, girlfriend. Like a la cajona. Ah, oh, damn, I should have that for the road, so. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, you know, um, when I was younger, growing up, a lot of adults used to tell me, Leo, you can be anything you want to be when you grow up. You could be a doctor, you could be an astronaut, you could be president of the United States if you want to be. I want to grow up to be a six foot four tall black man. Unfortunately, the last time I was stopped by cops, I was treated like a six foot four tall back man. They beat the shit out of me and tased me. 
Yo, know, when I first practiced that joke, I, practiced, I actually practiced it for the first time on my ex-mother-in-law, and she said, Leo, what if there's a black man in the audience? I said, fuck that, well, there's cops. <laughs> Yo, know, um, I don't know why there's so many cops on lonely desert highways in this country, and not more tow trucks. I've been on desert highways many times, I never need a cop from me a tow truck many times. One time I was heading down 98 towards Calexico, and about five miles out, my car broke down, my cell phone was dead, so I started walking towards town. And about a mile, mile and a half into my walk, a war patrol truck stopped by next to me. They rolled down their window and they said, Don't they vas is there? I looked at my God, excuse me? And repeated, Don't they vas is there? I leaned then, I looked at his name badge and I said, I'm sorry, Officer Sanchez, but I don't speak German. So I said, where are you going? I said, my car broke down about my loud. I'm heading towards Calexico. He asked me for my ID. I showed it to him. He looked at it, gave it back. And he said, be safe out there. All right, guy, can I get a ride? He said, no, I'm sorry. We can't get rides to civilians. So I started walking about another mile, mile and a half in. Uh, another border patrol, patrol truck came up next to me. And... Uh, they rolled down the window and they looked at me and then they go, Don't they was is there? So I rolled my eyes and I said, Chingado, ya nunca voy a llegar a Los Angeles. Coja me torciste. So I got right to the place. what I did. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I, I, I don't know, you probably can't tell by looking at me now, but I used to be an athlete. Believe it or not, I used to be an athlete. I can prove it too. My mom still has the box full of my participant ribbons in the garage. <laughs> Yo, know, uh, I remember one time at the office they decided they were going to do a, like one of those biggest loser contests. And they asked me what to do it. And I go, I don't know. And they, then they said, well, you'll bounce weigh yourself and then you know, see how much you can lose. I go, I weighed myself. And I go, oh crap. I go, yeah, I'm like, well, is that, does that feel right? And they said, yes. No, they go, no, yo, it's off by two pounds. And I go, oh, shit, all right. They go, yeah, it actually takes away two pounds. So I'm like, crap. I go, oh, man, so I weigh 210 pounds. The girl looked at me, she goes, wow, you don't look it. And I said, that's because you've never seen me naked. <laughs> you know, I'm a glutton. I love food. I love food as much as Tom Brady loves flat footballs. <laughs> I love, I love food as much as Kanye West loves Kanye West. <laughs> you know, I, I love food so much, you know, my favorite candy bar is a payday. And you know, I take a bite out of it and a peanut falls down the ground. I look at it and I actually contemplate picking it up and eating it. <laughs> and if I don't, if I don't pick it up, you know, I, I'm thinking about it, it's on my mind all night. I start getting a little hungry and I go down and I just picked up that peanut and it would have held me over till dinner. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about it. Even now, I'm still thinking about it. That was just two hours ago. <laughs> you know, when I first said that uh, cop joke to a friend of mine, he was kind of upset because his brother's a cop. He goes, dude, you know my, my brother's a cop, right? I said, yeah, I, I, I know, but I thought your brother was one of the cool ones, you know? <laughs> you know, I once ordered uh, bubble gum ice cream. I don't know if you ever tried bubble gum ice cream. Bubble gum ice cream is this blue ice cream with uh, the gumballs in it. And uh, I guess they get frozen and the texture gets really weird. It's the most disgusting thing I ever had. And I didn't do my wine and do, I just go fuck all ice cream. All ice cream sucks now. No, because blue ice cream matters too. <laughs> so I just ordered something else. So I knew, I know, you want. Know that bubblegum ice cream is just like 1% of all ice cream flavors. And I know that, you know, asshole cops are just about like 1% of all cops in this country, you know? So if I can leave you with one bit of advice, please don't be blue bubblegum ice cream. Thank you and have a good day.